there's an expression uh, that I heard ever since I was a, a young boy growing up and it has always resonated with me uh, throughout my life and that was the expression living in the last days we are living in the last days from a biblical perspective that was to say at least from our teachers and pastors preachers and so forth during those days was that the years and or days are numbered for the world before uh, God comes to establish his kingdom here on earth and that man only has so long on the earth to do all of the things that his heart, his heart desires to create all of the things that he can create and to build all of the things that he can build and to commit all kinds of catastrophic events and I think today as I'm sitting here it's, it's a good time to really see the writing on the wall and say uh, uh, I, I think clearly that we are in the last days I believe so I know so I do now there may be some varying viewpoints and opinions about this I don't think you really have a place to stand on not a solid place to stand on to see something different than what I and many others like myself see I want you to write this down those of you that are inclined to do so in the book of uh, Matthews chapter 24 one amongst many times mentioned in the Bible to include in Revelation but Matthews chapter 24 read the whole thing I hate to say it's your leisure but you really should be reading it now you should continue to read it and then maybe it will make better sense to you because it's been foretold that we were going to man that is on this planet go through some very tumultuous difficult times on planet earth we need to stop ignoring it it's going on I mean just over the past year we have this new thing called COV-19 and people have lost their businesses there are new businesses already existing businesses as a result of that and people have been struggling surviving as a result of that people have died as a result of that uh, and in some parts of the world they say it's even escalating and there's a new variant called the Delta variant now in some places that's one thing my business definitely has been affected by it so what else is going on in the world that would help prove that we are living in the last days well they talked about the new norm in the news about a year or so ago uh, this is the new norm we are never gonna go back to what we thought normalcy was ladies and gentlemen it's never gonna get better I hate to bring it to you this is not a doom and gloom message I'm just being honest with you did you hear about the earthquake that just recently happened in Hades within the past five days killing over 1300 people and the death toll is rising because it's a search uh, effort now did you hear about the hurricanes that are potentially going to hit Haiti right after that that's devastating many lives lost many people uh, have been displaced did you hear about maybe three weeks or so ago the uh, the flood in China I think it was in Hunan and about a million people 
lost their homes. They were displaced. Many lives were lost there. And then subsequent to that, there was a flood in a city in Germany. Same situation. Now, uh, right after that, another city in China had one of the worst sandstorms in 10 years. Let me see if I can pronounce this city. Dunhuang, China. They had the worst sandstorm in the past 10 years occurred. And here in recent news, and it's not so recent news, it's been going on for a while under the Biden administration, the Taliban has taken control over Afghanistan. A significant amount of Afghanistan belongs to over 70,000 Afghan militant soldiers, rebels if you will. And to boot, there are American hostages there, and it is said that they're being even beaten by the Taliban, not allowed to go to the airport and exit to come back home, along with some other friendlies, some other uh, allies. The Taliban has taken control over many military uh, munitions, if you will, that were left behind to include drones, to include, they say, Black Hawk uh, heli helicopters and machine guns. They're armed to the T. And then here in the news, Fox News especially, I never would have thought it was going to be Fox News, but they're beating down the presidency of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, saying that they're not doing anything about it. They're not responding to those people that are being held hostage that are from America. What's going to happen? Do you have the answer to this? What's going to happen right now? It's falling apart. All around us right before our eyes it's crumbling what's crumbling our so-called security in this country so what is the president going to do about the Taliban if you have an answer anyone that's listening to me right now what is he going to do about the Taliban just just one thing not to mention all of the other catastrophes that are going on across the planet. Let alone dealing with what's going on in America. As far as our economy is concerned. Which is not stable. No matter what they tell us. All of the extra money that they've printed. The trillions of dollars. That's not backed by gold or silver. That they're giving all of these people for the relief effort. Supposedly. What's going to happen? Ladies and gentlemen, we are living in the last days. I'm sorry, we are. And it's going to get worse. So you better, as the Bible says, gird up your loins. You better start praying. But on top of that praying, you need to be saving rations, non-perishable items for food, lanterns, battery-run lanterns, gas, kerosene, lanterns, a generator or two, extra blankets because it's going to be cold in a couple months. You might even have to shack up with some of your family members and friends. It's going to get hard. Make sure that you have some water, some bottled water stored up as well. And as I said a moment ago, this is not a doom and gloom message. It's the truth. So, my friends, while you're out there trying to find out where the next party is, looking around the corner saying on the weekend, I'm going out there to that one bar, it's lit. I'm going out to the other place and get my dance on, get my drink on, start sipping. 
So while you're doing all of these things and thinking all, of all of this nonsense, as the world is collapsing right before your very eyes, I feel sorry for you. If that's where your mindset is, or your mind state, or state of mind is, you better wake up. Because the prophecies of the Bible, the Quran, are unfolding right before all of us. And some of us are so oblivious to it. And you're going to be the ones that's going to be caught by surprise. You just ought to wake up right now. Because your future or potential future and that of your children, your family, is at stake. We are living in the last days, whether you want to accept it or not. All of the, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to go to start, start a business. I'm going to go and become an NBA basketball star, football player, a singer, an artist, and so forth. All of that's good and well, but you better get your priorities together. You hear me? Because all that stuff may have to be put on hold if they ever even come to fruition. I personally say less than 20 years, maybe even less than 10, we're going to be living in a totally different new reality. And it's not one that we ever expected. I love you. Sincerely, the Most High, Yahweh loves you. Keep your eyes open, be vigilant, and know the world that you live in before it catches you by surprise. This is Brother Teacher. I'm out.